had big problems. That was something broken on the car for sure. Big crash by Berger. Without any doubt, it went straight on. And, oh my, oh heavens above, this is dreadful. This is the, there is, there are no words that can add to the, this appalling picture. Oh, all racing drivers kill themselves. That was sort of the public attitude. I never forget smashing it against the wall, just out of sheer frustration about why are we doing this stupid thing. This is the tragedy of road racing, is when you do get close to a driver and there is an accident, of course, it, it hurts you so much more. Whatever is happening to a car, there should be no reason to die in a car. I was just so angry that the sport could do it in this way and continue to do it in this way. The world needed to know the answer as to why this had happened. Why is this man dead? Why is motor racing so dangerous? Est-ce que c'est est une leçon pour tout, pour moi aussi, parce que il a, les organisateurs ont démontré que pour lui c'est plus important l'argent que la, la vie humaine, ne, ne pas seulement la vie de le pilote, mais la vie de le public aussi. Formula One remains an extremely hazardous sport. It's not safe, and it never will be completely safe. If you took all the Formula One drivers, even the current crop of racing drivers, and said, here are two cars, that one is very safe, that one's extremely dangerous. If you crash in it, probably get killed. But the dangerous one's two seconds a lap quicker. There would be no discussion about which one they'd drive. They'd all get in the dangerous one. He died doing something which up until that fraction of a second was giving him the greatest joy, pleasure, fulfillment. Death is something which frightens me. By thinking of it, it isn't going to make it less likely to happen, therefore I don't think about it. Sometimes you have to get up in the morning, look in the mirror and say, you're prepared to put it on the line. You're prepared to actually lose your life today. Because if you're not, you have no right being there. The easy way back is to drive as quick as possible. Don't wait. As long as you wait, there's more worries you get. It reminds us on, on the one hand that you know, motorsport is dangerous, we are willing to take a certain risk, but obviously we always hope for the best and, and nothing to happen. I don't look back actually, I look forward. Yesterday is yesterday. I said to myself, I need to forget everything that happened before, because I love this sport. You're the fastest guy around. Why don't you quit? He said, I can't quit. I have to go on. When the visor goes down, you escape from the grief, the dramas, the troubles, the pain, the suffering.
way, we know it's a disaster and uh, we all shocked about it. But then they lost their life with doing what they most love to do. Uh, is this a satisfactory answer? No, it's not. The uh, biggest satisfaction will be that if we can learn from what has happened and improve things and, and make the future better to anybody that, that is in motorsport. And uh, that's, that's uh, what is most important to me from, from that point of view. This is a man who said that he did what he did, not in spite of the danger, but because of the danger. The idea was not to race and die. The idea was to race and to last as long as possible.